Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. Just going to show you how to use um, Adobe Show Photoshop CS6 and we're just going to have a look at the cloning tool. So I'm just going to open up Adobe, um, so I'm just going to type in Photoshop and there it is, Adobe Photoshop CS6. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an image to work on. So if we click on File and Open, uh, now I have a number of uh, photos up here. Uh, we're just going to um, open up the New York Clouds photograph here and click on open. Now this is the photograph I want and I'd really like it except the one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to remove the clouds out of the sky. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the cloning tool. Now this tool here um, sometimes it might be preset to the pattern stamp tool and it has a funny little X in the corner. Uh, if that's the case then you need to right mouse with the right mouse button on your mouse, right mouse click it and choose clone stamp tool. Okay, So make sure there's no little X over there in that little part uh, of the button. Okay, When you have that selected um, the next thing you need to do is bring up the clone stamp toolbar and the easiest way to find that is to click on window clone source and up comes the clone source uh, toolbar. Now the first thing you need to have make sure you've selected is show overlay and that should have a tick in it and clipped should have a tick in it um, as well. Okay um, now <coughs> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, pick up the source. So this is how I would like this area to look. So this is a nice blue area. I like this. I don't like this. And I need to specify that this is the area I'm going to pick up and this is the area I'm going to overwrite. Now at the moment my brush, brush size is quite large. Okay. So in here this button here will allow me to change the size. I'm going to shrink mine down to about maybe 50. Maybe a little bit smaller. 40. Okay. So now in this area here, um, I'm going to uh, pick up the, the look of this area here um, and to do that I hold down Alt, A-L-T on my keyboard. There's a little key on your keyboard beside the spacebar called Alt and when I press it down on my keypad you'll notice that my mouse sort of becomes a crossbow. Now <coughs> I find it works easiest if I move up and down. So I'm going to say this is a nice area like up here and I'm going to click on that and now I let go of the Alt tab. And now when I click and drag across it, you can see the little cross tab. It's picking up where the cross is and it's painting where the circle is. So I'm just going across all the clouds. And I'm improving the day in New York. Okay, now it seems to, I seem to be too far left now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up maybe some of the lighter color down here. And pick up that and click on it and now overwrite some of those areas there. Okay. Okay, and you need to sometimes uh, move around. Um, you can also change the hardness uh, and you can decrease or increase the hardness. Um, and that affects how strongly it picks up the color. Does it completely disappear the color or does it leave it slightly there? Okay, so that's a better day in New York. We now need to save it. So file, save as. So in here, I'm going to make sure it's a JPEG selected. Okay, uh, we're going to call it uh, clouds. Um, good day. And uh, I'm going to hit save. Now it's asking me what file size I want. Do I want it with a full resolution, with the highest quality? <coughs> Or would I like um, a smaller size for going on the internet or sending by email? So imagine I'm putting this up in an email or putting up on the web. So I'm going to choose a lower quality size and click on OK. OK, that's the end of the first video. Thank you.